Greetings. This is an earthquake watch for April 7 through to April 10. We did receive two significant earthquakes back in April 3. A 6.4 in Fiji, followed up by 6.7 in Java, Indonesia. We are moving into a significant celestial period with a major planetary alignment between Jupiter, Earth and Sun. I do feel there is a strong likelihood of a 7.2 plus earthquake during this watch. I'm going to be working more closely with Yardo, a close friend of mine, the Weather or Not channel. And this is mainly due to the unpredictable nature of Solar Cycle 24 as it begins to intensify. The predictable nature of these events are going to be less easy to detect. So I'm going to be using a more intuitive approach. And with the assistance of Yardo, we're going to be getting a much more um, different perspective and a much more um, intuitive perspective in terms of earthquake forecasts. A very powerful solar disturbance was recorded back on April the 3rd, and it wasn't quite classified as a geomagnetic storm, but it is a fairly sizable disturbance, and I do expect that we will be receiving some effects from this in terms of seismic activities or an earthquake, perhaps in the April 7 or 8 time frame. The GOES X-ray flux monitor showing minimal activities, and this is mainly due to the six numbered sunspots being fairly inactive and stable. Looking at the ACE telemetry, we get to see a significant rise in solar winds over the last six to seven hours. This is a good indicator that a new coronal hole speed stream is being received. Now looking at the 193 angstrom with solar monitor, we get to see a significant coronal hole in the southern hemisphere. We also have a magnetic filament attached with a vortex sort of feel on the end. I do feel that there is a possibility of a very large earthquake contained within this coronal hole, possibly 7.2 in magnitude. There's also another region above, slightly above the equator region, that may also produce an earthquake during this watch. I'm going to show some symmetry between a decaying sunspot region and a coronal hole feature just underneath, and also the area in and around Indonesia and above. I do feel that there may be an event in and around these regions during this watch, perhaps the first few days, April 7 and 8. There is a strong symmetry indicating a possible large earthquake in the areas of Indonesia. I do feel that this event will be a sea-based event, and that would put the regions of the Banda Sea, the Flora Sea, the Celebes Sea, and also the Malacca Sea in between at risk for a potential 6.8 earthquake during this watch. Now looking at the Solon.info website, we get to see a significant coronal hole in the southern hemisphere that we need to keep close notice of. I do feel that this is the area of main concern during this watch. Now looking at the 3 or 4 angstrom with the SDO, we do have an interesting feature that's just arrived on the solar corona. We do have a magnetic filament, a fairly well defined magnetic filament, still attached to the solar corona, extending out across the limb. Now we haven't had this sort of uh, prominent feature for over a year. Now this is a little bit of a concern. We did have a very large earthquake in Chile last year, and we did have an associated magnetic filament, and it does seem to look with a similar sort of feel, so we do need to closely monitor this. Now looking at the composite imagery of this very large coronal hole that's turning the limb, and it presents a bit of an issue in terms of this earthquake watch, we do have a significant solar disturbance above, and this is a filament eruption and a fairly substantial event here. We may be receiving some form of geomagnetic effects on the KP index, perhaps a K5 may be recorded in the coming hours. Uh, we are seeing a slight elevation right now, so we may be receiving more effects or perhaps it's not quite as large as what it appears, but it is a significant uh, anomaly that's in progress right now. Now looking at the 193 angstrom with solar monitor and targeting this very large coronal hole deep down in the southern hemisphere, I've mapped this area to 33 to 37 degrees south latitude. I do feel there is a potential of a 7.2 earthquake and it does appear to be in this coronal hole and the best regions that would fit this coronal hole, or best mapped, would be the region of Chile. And that's regions of Valparaiso stemming down to Bio Bio. I do feel that this event may be an ocean-based event, so this may be an offshore earthquake. The second area of watch would be above the North Island of New Zealand, stretching up towards the south of the Comatic Islands. And the third area of watch would be the Easter Island region. Okay, that's my earthquake watch for today, April 6, 2011. Annotations will be added during and at the end of the video. I'll also leave my planetary alignment video, which falls on April 7, in the description box for anyone who's interested.
Thanks for watching.